So I said earlier that I was going to talk about um, some higher education stuff because I spent all my professional career working at four great uh, institutions of higher ed. And I know a lot of people went to college, especially if they played um, sports or volleyball or whatever. But one thing is when we're going through college, sometimes we don't think about the bigger picture and um, how that affects so many others who can't be where we're at and can't sit in the seats that we're, that we're in in class and aren't walking across these beautiful campuses that are multi-billion dollar businesses. So I thought um, one of the things I'd let you in on is uh, how I feel about it since I've gained so much from it, but I also have learned um, how to play the game and um, to play chess, not checkers. I'm sure some of you have heard that term, um, but it's real and it's out there and I wanna make sure I'm passing it on. So chestnut checkers, what does that mean? Uh, chestnut checkers means it's very complicated and breaking down systemic racism, uh, systematic exclusion, um, all of those terms that are out there, it's, it's way more complicated than it seems. People think it's simple and it's just the way someone treats you or what somebody says to you and that's not it at all. It's, it's all kinds of things, it's redlining for those of you who don't know what redlining is. Back in the day, they used to uh, literally take out maps, draw red lines around um, sections and areas of neighborhoods um, that brown folks were in and not invest in those neighborhoods. So what I'm talking about right now in higher ed is the lack of investment in education. And I don't believe you have to go to a four-year college to be educated, but I do believe that a lot of education happens right here on these college campuses that we all work on and where we go to school. 